Oh, shit, fam. Oh, shit. I don't know if they can hear my voice. Damn. I don't know if they can hear my voice, but you know what they can hear? The fucking dual hey. cam. Hey. hey. The dual cam. Oh, shit, son. Wow. Wow. The first fucking live stream of all time, fam. Look at that. There's a little delay. There is definitely a delay based on what we're seeing right there, but it looks like we are fucking live. Let's 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 peep the Steve cam. Oh, there's the Steve cam. Steve has his own cam right now. That's dead. Look at my bicep. That's dead. Let's look at the Blake cam. Let's look at the Blake cam. Oh, look at the Blake cam right there, dude. Oh, wait. Do we have a phone number? <gasps> yes, we do. There it is. Look at Whoa, that. Dude. We got a damn phone number in here. Let's see what we got. Look so at, what app are we on right we're now? We're on YouTube right now, okay. and it's fucking lit, dude. We got hella thousands of people watching right now. Nice. And, well, only 84, but that's okay. 84,000. 84,000 are watching right now, Holy dude. Holy shit. Go back to the Steve Cam. Steve Cam! <laughs> What's up, Steve? Wow, this is so dope, dude. Here so, we go. So you want to tell them what, what we're doing here tonight, Steve? Well, I was going to set you up to tell them. Well, okay, so let me... So, Steve, why don't you... Ask me what we're going to be doing to, for the podcast. All right. So I think we got a great show uh, coming up. I think it's going to be about helping people out. Blake, you want to tell them a little something about it? Yeah, absolutely, fam. Um, you know, as you can see here, there is a phone number to call in. People have been calling in all over the past few weeks to ask questions. We have a little voicemail set up, and we are basically going to give people lit ass advice and say so, you know call us leave us a message you know maybe we'll get to it during the show maybe we'll get to it next show guaranteed every damn week tuesday 8 p.m we're gonna be right here fucking right here in the stew streaming live you know we're gonna have steve on the damn couch we're gonna have cool ass guests and it's gonna be fucking lit fam so i'm really happy that you guys are tuning in you're here for the first one let's shout out the first comment shout out dan conley for the first comment shout out elijah sigler what dan say dan he just said is killing the game illegal you know he already asked a question and that's you know pretty great because we're not doing questions yet are we uh you know we could do a question in the comments okay we can say is killing the game illegal the answer is nah the answer fam nah it's not illegal to kill the game fam but what is illegal is killing other people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Steve, what do you think? Yeah, I think you could kill the game and, you know, get away with it. I don't think, you, you know. Is that all you have to say? Yeah, d is killing the game. I don't think it's no, it's not illegal. OK, thank you. That's all you had to say. You don't have to give a big ass fucking delay, dude. You know what I'm saying? All right, dude. That was just the first question. <laughs> Steve. Steve doesn't know how to do a podcast, fam. It's so funny. That's why I thought he'd be a great guest, you know, because he just he, he needs the clout. He needs the clout levels, you know, the try. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing. And so as we go, he's probably going to learn pretty well. Isn't that right, Steve? Yeah, as we go, I'm going to learn pretty well. There you go, fam. There you go. So what else are we doing this week, Steve? That's pretty fucking lit that the people should know about. Anyone watching? Oh, the stand-up comedy shows? Oh, yeah, this. I'm going to be doing stand-up, and Blake's going to be doing, like, a presentation. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Steve. Just You're saying. such a fucking dick. Steve, we're fuck you. Yeah, we're it's not a presentation. It's a fucking experience, dude. We're going to do comedy in Brea. That's right. In San Diego. That's right, dude. So if you live in Brea, California, make sure to come out tomorrow night to the Brea Improv where we're going to be doing a fucking live show that tell is beyond fucking lit, fam. Can I cut you off really quick? Go ahead. Tell them how dope it's going to be. Oh, dude, it's going to be so dope. Your boy, me, a.k.a. Blake Weber, I'm going to be doing my TED Talk, fam, where I basically teach you how to kill the game and how to handle haters. Again, that's at the Brea Improv. And if you're watching it from Orange County, make sure you get And then what are we doing Thursday night, Steve? Uh, stand up. That's right, fam. Yeah. That's right. We're going to be doing a show at the American Comedy Co. in San Diego. Uh, if you want tickets to either of these events, fam, go into the uh, fucking the description right here. I've got links to both ticket links. So Let's get on with the podcast, bro. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. Our first voicemail of the night, our first question ever on the Killing It podcast here we go. Play it. 
I'm trying, dude. Here we go. Hey, Blake Weber. So I've been having this problem lately because I'm fucking awesome. Okay. And there's been, like, too many bitches trying to get on my dick because I'm fucking awesome. And I wanted to ask you how you choose the bitch to get on your dick since you're fucking awesome, too. Okay. And I know you probably would mad pussy, man. It's true. So if you could give me any tips on that, I'd really appreciate it, man. Keep telling the fucking game, man. Peace uh, out. Okay. Do you yeah. want to take this one? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take this one because he had mentioned how awesome I was so many times and says so someone who's pretty fucking awesome, you know, I, I want to go ahead and uh, answer this question. Um, truth be told, it's hard to choose what, you know, first off, let's not say the word bitch here, okay? It's, it's 2019. It's PC culture. Let's refer to them as, you know, females or ladies or women or girls, just anything but bitches. So let's start there. So second off, you know... Really, it just comes down to who you vibe with the most, dude. And I'm a very monogamous person, you know? I'm very monogamous. And so when I'm in a relationship, you know, I'm fucking into a girl. And it's not just because she's got, you know, she's got the curves that I like, but it has to do a lot with, you know, her brain power and, and, and how we connect that way. What do you have to say about that, Steve? I just have to say that I don't think having too many lady friends is a problem, you know? I mean, just maybe... You got to look inside yourself and figure out what you want and then you'll pick out the right one that fits that that right yeah it's a pretty good answer yeah i think that's a very good answer steve i think you really nailed it there one for one baby one for one dude that's pretty fucking good you know steve i thought you would be less good at podcasting but you seem to be pretty fucking good at podcasting no i i got a pretty good flow Mm-hmm. okay so let's see this next question dude let's see if this one's any good Start. Fucking crackheads, bro. Crackheads. Bro, crackheads. Okay. So I I feel like I feel like the third bro crackheads was very unnecessary, dude. You know? Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a question. <laughs> that wasn't even a question, dude. What are you, you doing? You literally just said crackheads three times. With bros in between. Yeah, dude, why did you, why, uh, you know, we're trying to help people here, and for you to come on here and use this as a platform to just say fucking crackheads, bruh, like, what are you, what are you doing? Just want to apologize to our live audience for that guy wasting our time. Yeah, dude, that wasn't very lit, to be honest. Maybe we should pre-screen our questions, but... I, I mean, it's hard to just pre-screen questions, especially when you have the volume of voicemails you know, that are coming in right now, dude. Let's do another one. Okay, let's let's see another one. Let's see this one. Come on, let's see. Let's see if it's going to go. Okay. Play it. Here we go. Why, when a pizza box is square, or is the pizza circle, and then there's... Shut up! Oh! Oh, shit. Boosh. Wow, you know, that was a great question there. You know, I will say the question was lit until, you know, someone stabbed him in the back. <laughs> At least I hope that's not what happened. It kind of sounded like a horror movie towards the end there. I hope our boy is okay. Um, but, Steve, uh, do you want to go ahead and take this one? Um, just different shapes for different shit, you know. Um, I think... I think he needs to worry about what's going on in the background at home there first before he worries about all these shapes. Huh? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's totally fair, fam. He, but what I do like is the scientific, you know, means for him to even ask this question. You know, the fact that his mind is exploring these obtuse angles, <laughs> you know, the, ob the obtusity of, you know, put in a circle in a square, you know, because think about it as a kid, Steve. Think about the last time that you were a kid and you were playing that game where you're trying to put the square into the circle, which I'm sure you did because you didn't know that the circle goes in the circle and the square goes in the circle. No, I didn't play that. Yes, you did, Steve. I know, I know you did, okay? And so think about, you know, to conceptualize the idea that you would put a circle into a square, you know? And so I like that question. And the answer is, I don't know, dude. Ask the fucking, ask a pizza guy, dude. I've never delivered pizza, so I wouldn't actually know that answer. And a answering that for him, I don't think would help him in any way. Really? No, absolutely not, dude. It's a good question, but we're trying to help you guys better your lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that doesn't necessarily really benefit anybody except, you know, 
fucking maybe just your own curiosity. Exactly. Okay, so here's a here's another question. Let's see this one. Dude, thanks. Is a hot dog a sandwich, bro? Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. So, realistically, that is a very similar question to the one that was just asked. You know, it's more of a philosophical sort of question, you know, and is a hot dog a sandwich? Is it? What do you think, Steve? Yeah, it's another base level question. Um, I would, I mean, it's meat between carbohydrates, right? But the carbohydrates, there's no separation in the bread of the bun. So I'm going to say no. But yeah, again, this question won't help you better your life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and disagree with you on this one, Steve, because it is absolutely a sandwich, you know? Meat between fucking bread, dude. That is, in my fucking point of view, a sandwich. This one just happens to be like a dick-shaped sandwich, a a A dip-shaped sandwich. A sandwich is meat between two slices of bread. Yeah, and and technically, dude, technically when you think about it, you can actually fucking do two pieces of bread with one fucking bun, you know? It's te- but it's just connected by like a piece of paper at the do, bottom of it, you, you know? You can't do two with one. You can do as many as you want as one, dude. All right. Do a question from the comments. Question from the comments. Here we go. Are saying shit? Let's see if there's any questions in the comments. Here we go. Um, a lot of trayways. A lot of trayways. Steve, can we get your best trayway, please? Oh, man. And do the solo cam. I'll give you one. Okay, let Hook me it give up you with the solo cam. Solo baby. cam, solo Steve cam. Ready? Try it! Ah. <laughs> wow, that was actually pretty lit. Dude, Steve. Someone should sample that and play it at EDC. Yeah, so if any EDC DJs are watching right now, go ahead and sample this exact minute in the stream, and we'll go ahead and get that in a fucking trap drop if you could. A trap drop. Okay, here we go. Here's one from purely ADHD. Yeah, Black Vapes. Why don't you post on Snapchat anymore? Wow, that's a really good question, dude. And I'm going to go ahead and take this one, Steve. You don't even have to chime in at all. You want to take this one? I'm taking this one because you asked me. Uh, So I don't really post on Snapchat anymore because they kept changing the platform to actually work against creators. And so at one point, Snapchat was the most, you know, justice-serving platform there ever was because it was a true timeline and then what happened was they started inserting other people's snapchats that you weren't even following into your feed and all of a sudden i'm getting bumped down and then instagram stories stole snapchat basically they fucking stole it and truth be told i was totally against i was like oh it's fucked up instagram stories dude what are you doing but then snapchat you know, responded by making the wrong moves and pushed me off the platform, dude. My views, I used to get hella views, and then they just started going down and down every time Snapchat made a change, and to me, that wasn't lit. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, I was hoping you would chime in. That's why I put the Steve Cam Oh, on. no, I, got, I, don't get, I don't have anything to say about that one. Okay, well, that's just because you only have an Instagram. Steve, what is your Instagram? Dude, you already said it. It's at Steve from high school, bro. Okay, well, Mine, fuck. but without at just it's just at Steve from high school. No commas. That's true. That is true. At Steve from high school. No commas. No periods. None of that shit. Let's see if we got another good question. Is this a good podcast so far? Yeah, I think it's lit. Okay. Here's a long ass voicemail. It's gonna be forty five seconds until they ask a question. Wow. See, this is this is what happens, dude. We don't screen the calls. We just come in and we fucking play them, dude. Because that's how you know it's live because we would never you... pick a garbage-ass fucking call like that. Nah, dude. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see this one. Okay, hey, guys. So I got a question. If I'm a cat in a bike going 40 miles an hour downhill and I jump over a garbage can... How many somersaults could I do with my kinetic energy? Dude, what the fuck, dude? You go ask fucking You know what, dude? Go ask a go ask Elon Musk, dude, because I'm pretty sure he's the only one that could answer that question. You just asked us 
If you're a cat in the bag going 40 miles per hour downhill and you jump over a garbage can, how many somersaults could you do with your kinetic energy? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking do science. You know what I do? I kill the fucking game, fam. You know? I fucking give TED Talks. I change lives. So the fact that you would even ask me this, I'm not qualified to answer it. Again, dude. These people are asking all these science questions. I don't fucking know the answer, dude. <laughs> We didn't start a podcast to do math homework. Okay? That's true, dude. This is you guys are making me do math homework and I want to I want to I want to save your fucking life. You know what I'm saying, dude? I want to I want to help you. You know, I want to help you be a better you, you know? Hey Blake, if you're going 30 miles per hour on a 40 kilometer road. Don't do it. Don't do it, Steve. I'm done, dude. I can't even pretend. You, you can't even pretend, dude. Exactly. Here we go. Let's see this one right here. I was wondering if psychedelics are good for your mental health. Oh, wow. What a great question, dude. Yeah, that one's, that's a deep question. That's a question that we can fucks with right now. You yeah, know these, what I'm saying? These are the questions we were, we were looking for, kind of. Yeah, dude. If we had to choose like a genre of question, it's mostly a self-help question. So... We can't challenge you guys unless you challenge us. That's true. That's very true. Steve, you want to go ahead and, and, and answer this one for her? I know that you partake in hella psychedelics. I mean... Look at your shirt. It's tie-dye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, my shirt's on so much acid right now. <laughs> you know, I say, I say try it out if you're confused, you know? If you have no direction. Maybe, you know, if, if you're looking for something... Here's the thing. You got to be in a good place, you know? Don't just take it when you're all depressed and shit. You got to be in a good place and you got to be with good people. And if you're in a good place with good people, then, you know, just try it out. And then if it's scary or whatever, then you don't have to keep doing it. No one's making you fucking do it, you know? So, you know, try it out. And then, but like, if you're in a good place for it, and then if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Wow, what a great answer, dude. That was really thorough. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and chime in on this one as well, you know, because I think it's important to note that right now, science and scientists that perform science are starting to do tests on various psychedelics to see, you know, how they change your mind and how they can help with depression and various other mental illnesses and they're finding quite some success with uh shrooms i don't know if you've heard of it but it's magic mushrooms you know the the shrooms that grow out of cow shit or sometimes are hydroponic psilocybin psilocybin yes and i will say there are some fuckers out there on wall street and there are some fuckers out there that are in silicon valley that are microdosing on lsd finding better results than fucking adderall which is basically speed so Truth be told, fam, you know, I think that right now with society and the direction that we're going, we should look at these alternatives as potential medicines to, you know, help our own mental health because it's some of the most important health out there, mental health. Are you talking about DMT? Uh, I didn't even touch on DMT, uh -oh. which, which I told everyone that I didn't not do. Did you ever do DMT, Steve? Uh, only, only, only once, like, only, I only really did it once. You only really did it once? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Like I tried it once and it was like, nah, and I tried it again and it was like, yeah. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens when I didn't not do it. That's a double negative. <laughs> it is a double negative, uh, dude. Who didn't know there'd be so much math in English? Ah, uh, no. Nah, it's so crazy, dude. So when I didn't not do it, I will say that it, it didn't not change my life in a positive way because, you know, I saw that there was another s fucking dimension out there and as i was not not going down the fucking dmt tube all of a sudden you know i was like holy shit this is probably what it's like to fucking die this is probably exactly what it's like to fucking die you died i died and then i was like oh this is fucking dope i hope this is exactly what it's like to die you sure you didn't just like take a nap <laughs> dude it lasted seven minutes dude and so, you know, I'm just like, wow, it's lit. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. It's lit, and it'll make you not afraid of death. Did you see colors for once in your life? 
Fuck. St- I, I know what you're doing, Steve. I know exactly what you're doing here. Blake's colorblind. Oh, uh, wow. Secret's out, dude. I'm fucking colorblind. Blake can't see shit if it's in color. Dude, I can, I can see, dude. You can't even see camouflage, bro. Hey, hey Steve. What? S- Steve, what's happening, to the, what's happening to the Steve cam right now? What's happening to the Steve cam? What? Oh, come on. Oh, wow. shit. Look at the Steve cam. Wow. Wow, this is your... This is your Steve on drugs, that dude. That was pre-edited. Nah, dude. Ah, look at you, Steve. You're fucking... Look at you. Look at you. You just... I believe earlier in the podcast, you said you shouldn't use the word bitch. Well, yeah, but I'm using this like you're a well, female dog. I'm just saying, you know, there's... One, I'm counting the contradictions and I'm at one here. I'm not referring to you as a lady, you know? I'm referring to you as a female dog right now. And if there's any female dogs listening to this podcast right now, I'm sorry if I offended you, but truth be told, dude, fam. fix me, bro. I look fat. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> nah. All right, I'll go back to the dual cam. Fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. That was great, though. That was good. S- stretch that was, me out. That was pretty good. I got you good, dude. I got you real good, fam. Good one. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see if we got anybody doing some good shit here let's see if we got some more good ass voicemails let's check the check the comments one more time see what we got here we got laughy faces someone laughed a lot of a lot of laughy faces uh split wigs or bust cheeks i don't even know what he's talking about bro split wigs or bust cheeks dude you're gonna have to urban dictionary both of those for me Split wigs or bust cheeks. Let's look this up, dude. You know, let's see if this is something that's worth a shit. <sighs> I'm looking it up, dude. I'm curious to see what this is. Split wigs. Let's see what this means, dude. I hope it's not something horrific. Uh, split wigs. To okay, to hit someone in the head and hopefully cause an injury. Okay, so that's split wigs. Let's see what bust cheeks is. Bust. Well. I can guess what that one is based on the context of the last one. Bust cheeks. Here we go. Urban Dictionary. Damn, I'm horny as fuck. I need to bust cheeks, girl. Oh, okay. So he's basically act- asking us if we're fucking violent or if we want to have sex. So would you rather like bust someone on the head or bust a nut? I guess that's essentially what he's asking, dude. Uh, bust cheeks, dude. That's my answer. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with Steve on this one because... You know, when you're busting cheeks, it's way more lit. Only nobody when, gets hurt. Well, nobody gets hurt as long as it's consensual. So make sure that you have 100% content, consent from the person that you're busting cheeks with. And, you know, it'll be a good time for both of you, hopefully. And you don't use the B word unless she asks for it. Yes. Yeah. If she says, slap my booty and call me a B word, then you can do it. But otherwise, I wouldn't just because I'm a nice guy. See this one right here, dude. I uh, saw, so, dude. I was just wondering. Uh, so my friend said uh, I'd get five dicks in my ass, but then they was like, nah, you can have four. So I was wondering if four dicks is better than five dicks. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that he just asked if, if his friend could get five dicks in his ass, but he wasn't sure if four was better than five dicks in his ass. And, you know, what do you think, Steve? I'm going to let you take this one, bro. I took the last one. Well, I mean, you know, okay, it just depends. It just depends what you're looking for, fam. Do you want, you know, an odd number of dicks in your ass or do you want an even number of dicks? Because five technically is one more than four. And so when you think about it, do you want, you know, that much in your ass or do you want that much in your ass? You know, and so that it, the, really the question comes back to you. Which do you prefer, you know? Um, it's kind of like when it rains, it pours. But do you in, do you like the rain? If you like the rain, then, then go for it all. Rain being the dicks and ass. I don't know. Like if you, have the oppor- if you have the opportunity to get more, do you want that or no? If you want it, then go for it. You know, if you don't, then don't. Okay. I like that. That's a good... That's a good metaphor, rain metaphor. It's rain and dicks. Hallelujah, it's rain and dicks. Get a good question for once. Okay, let's see if this is a good question for once, dude. Let's see if this is a worthy one. Yo, what's up, Blake? I just want to say before I ask this question how you're a fucking beast. But, um, so I have 
So there's this girl, right? And I mean, she kind of likes me, but I'm not really sure. And then she just asked me like to the to a school dance, and I don't know to make my move or not. And like, cause she, we used to like each other, and then like she stopped. So I'm confused as fuck. So maybe if you have anything that'll give me some inspiration or some help, it'd be great. Thanks, Blake. Wow, that's the kind of question that we're looking for, fam. Yeah. Right there, dude, because guess what? I have a great answer for you, fam. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one, Steve. Go ahead, bro. I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, fortunately, I've been in this situation before, and it can be very confusing and very trying at times. And so what I want to say is thank you for, one, calling me a beast, because you're right. I am a fucking beast. You're right. Absolutely. And, okay, so the girl asked you to do a dance and you said yes, but you're not too sure because now she's acting like she doesn't like you. And here's here's the here's the deal, fam. She asked you to the dance, so that's indication that she liked you. What you need to ask yourself is, has your behavior changed, okay? Now, if you can say that, yes, your behavior has changed, then maybe, you know, it's changed in a way that she doesn't like. But if you say, no, your behavior has not changed, then... What I'm thinking is she's very nervous and she's afraid like, oh, God, I really like this guy. Maybe he's the one for me. And all of a sudden, you know, she starts pulling away, you know, very Helga G. Pataki style. Shout out to my Hey Arnold fam out there. Helga G. Pataki style where she's, you know, kind of trying to show you that she doesn't like you, which is really an indicator that she likes you. So, you know, you got to ask yourself, did your behavior change? Did it not? If it didn't, then she's pulling away slightly. And you know what you can do in this situation? Keep being you, fam. And when you go to that dance, you tell her. You're like, hey, I want, I want you to know, you know that I like you. And that's how I feel about you. If it is how you feel about her. That's the key. As long as you feel that way about her, dude, you'll, you'll be great. And she's going she's gonna to be, you know, butter in your hand. And you guys are going to make a beautiful fucking relationship. I promise. And you never know. Like, her friends... You fix my screen, bro. Oh, fuck you, Steve. You fucking whiny bastard, dude. Okay. Her friends could be telling her, like, yo, if you like a guy, you should just, like, don't pay attention to him. You know? You never know what kind of vice she's getting. Yeah, dude. Know? Think about it. Becky could be in her fucking ear, jibber-jabbering, saying, oh, dude, if you really want him to like it, you gotta not like him. You gotta fucking cat and string him, dude. Because, you know? Yeah. So. But you're right. If she, why would she ask you to a dance if she didn't like you? I would never ask anyone to a dance I didn't like ever. Exactly, dude. I would only go with people I like, and so you got to think about it that way, fam. You know what I'm saying? Good fucking question. Yeah, that's that's the kind of question, Steve. We need we, like a sound you play for a good question. We'll get a soundboard one day, dude. You know, right now we're we're just like, here. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Good fucking question. Should we should we answer one more, Steve? Let's do one more. One more question. Here we go. Yo, um, I've got an uh, athlete's foot, and uh, I was wondering if you knew any uh, home remedies, you know, some, some athlete's foot home remedies. Thanks. Home remedies for athlete's foot. This is this sounds suspicious, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. this sounds suspicious because, first off, you know you could just go to a store and go to the fucking medical section and look for athlete's foot antifungal cream. Can I say second of all? Uh, go ahead. Second, second of all, you could just fucking Google it. Thank you. That was going to be my second of all too, Steve. I was going to say you could fucking Google it. But here's why this is suspicious, Steve. You ready? Why? I'll tell you why this is suspicious because athlete's foot is the same fucking bacteria that you get when you have jock itch. And if you have jock itch and you go and buy fucking, you know, tough actin, tenactin, or some other kind of fucking athlete's foot remedy, people might suspect that you have jock itch. And I would get why you'd be slightly embarrassed about having jock itch and just call it athlete's foot. All right, in the time that Blake took to talk about jock itch, I f fucking found the home remedies. Number one, tea tree oil. There it's you go. Number two, garlic. 
Garlic, dude. Who would have thought? Number three, hydrogen peroxide with iodine. There you go. Number four, hair dryer and talcum powder. Okay. That's T-A-L-C-U-M. Number five, baking soda. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's five just from Googling it in two seconds. There you go, fam. There's five just from Googling it in two seconds. So I hope that answers your question, and I hope that fixes your jock itch. Yeah, we're going to have to have some guests on this cast pretty soon because these questions aren't cutting it. Yeah, absolutely, fam. That's that's what we plan on doing. You know, we wanted to sort of break the molds with you guys, show you, you know, this lit ass fucking studio that we got, these fucking epic ass, you know, microphones that I have and just have some fun, you know, be more interactive with my fans because you guys are the fucking shit, aren't they, Steve? Wouldn't you say that they're the yeah, shit? Yeah, you guys are the dopest fucking shit there is. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah, you already know that. So I'm glad that we could connect like this. I'm going to go ahead and plug the show one more time. Tomorrow, January 30th, we're going to be at the Brea Improv. Get your tickets at the link here in the description of this here video. And then Thursday, January 31st, we're going to be at American Comedy Co. in San Diego. Again, link is in the description. You guys are so fucking lit. Thanks for joining us, dude. We're going to be here every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to grow our audience organically. And, you know, we're going to upload this shit to iTunes and shit. So it's going to be pretty fucking lit, fam. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. And as always, do it, do it faster. And then also keep it trailway. Trailway.